Hi, my name is Alexis Holmes, and I'm a first year college student currently taking developmental psychology at St. Clair County Community College. In our current unit of study, we are learning about Lawrence Kohlberg and his theory on how moral reasoning changes as people grow older. His theory of moral development was divided into three levels, pre-conventional, conventional, and post-conventional. Within the three levels, each has two distinct stages specific to each level, and each has parallels to Piaget's stages of cognition. More reasoning changes as people grow older by increasing or remaining stable in its level rather than decreasing with age due to age-related changes in reasoning. Kohlberg's pre-conventional level is similar to Piaget's pre-operational thought in that it is egocentric, where children are most interested in their own personal pleasure or avoiding punishment. This is the earliest level of moral development and lasts until around age nine. Around this age, children's decisions are primarily shaped based on the decisions and opinions of adults, as well as the consequences for breaking the rules. At this stage, morality is externally controlled, and the two stages within this level of moral development are stage one, which covers obedience, and stage two, which covers self-interest. Kohlberg's conventional level is similar to concrete operational thinking in that it relates to current and observable practices such as children watching their parents, teachers, and friends and trying to copy everything they do. This is the second stage that occurs during adolescence and childhood, and during this stage, individuals begin to develop personal moral codes by internalizing the rules of adult role models. At this level, conformity to social rules remains important to the individual, and the two stages within this level of moral development are stage three, which covers interpersonal accord and conformity, and stage four, which covers authority and maintaining social order. Kohlberg's post-conventional level is similar to Piaget's formal operational period in that it uses abstractions, which go beyond what is concretely observed, which provides room to question, such as what is, in order to, to decide what should be. This is the third and final stage of moral development, according to Kohlberg, and is characterized by an individual's understanding of universal ethical principles. This stage is also known as the principled level and is abstract and ill-defined. The two stages within this level are stage five, which covers social contract, and stage six, which covers universal ethical principles. Each of Kohlberg's levels of moral reasoning are related to cognitive maturity and, according to Kohlberg, intellectual maturation advances, moral thinking, and concrete thought and peer experiences help children to move past pre-conventional to conventional. His assessment of mor morality depends not on what a per person answers, but instead why an answer is chosen. He has been criticized for not appreciating cultural or gender differences, and overall he seemed to value rational principles more than the individual needs. Unlike any other scholars and people of scientific importance who consider emotions more influential than logic, Kohlberg's study presented the conclusion that conversation on a topic may stimulate a process of individual reflection that triggers developmental advances. Thank you.